Hi, my name is Rick Rasby. I'm beef specialist at the University of Nebraska. Today I'd like to discuss dry lotting beef cows, the economics. There's been a lot of interest in looking at alternative cow-calf systems, but typically we would, we would consider alternative cow-calf systems in a drought condition where we don't have any grass available and um, there's not any moisture to grow grass. And a lot of times to maintain the cow herd, we uh, get them into a dry lot and feed them directly. So this would be in a drought uh, situation. The other two situations may be that you have a cow herd and you're looking at an opportunity to expand the cow herd, but yet you don't have any uh, grass to graze or there's a limited amount of grass for grazing opportunities. The third uh, option, or at least uh, um, alternative one to consider uh, dry lotting beef cows would be that you're trying to develop a new enterprise in your operation and you don't have any uh, grass resources to graze. And so you're looking at some type of alternative cow-calf system and typically you're looking at dry lining beef cows. This is a graph that shows the uh, price uh, per cow-calf pair per month in Nebraska. This would be some data that's collected annually by the Ag Econ Department. And you can see that over the years, there's been a steady increase in the price of grass, if you rent grass, on a cow-calf pair basis. And if you can find grass, it's expensive. A lot of times, you can't even find grass. And so there's a lot of demand for grass, and uh, there's not a lot of grass available out there to rent, therefore the increase in, in pasture prices. What I'd like to do is look at seven different systems that we have quite a bit of data on, and then compare that back to an alternative system, which would be a total confinement system or a confinement corn stock grazing system. We have a lot of data at the Goodman's and Sand Hills Laboratory. So again, this data would come out of the Sand Hills in Nebraska. We have a March calving herd, a June calving herd, and then an August calving herd. Over our, on these entries, I have the number of days that uh, cows spend, uh, spent grazing. Also, I have the number of days that cows spend grazing corn stalks. Now, sometimes we take both cow-calf pairs to corn stalks, and when this happened, I accounted for the number of grazing days for the calves as well as the number of grazing days for the cows. Have hay when fed, baled corn stalks when fed, distillers grains when supplemented uh, in each of the systems, and then for each of the systems, we recorded mean weight. Two other systems that I'll use in the comparison are the Dolby Holic uh, systems, and these are Eastern Nebraska cow-calf systems. The Dolby Holic One system is a conventional uh, pasture grazing, corn stock grazing in the wintertime situation. The Dolby Holic Two system is defined here in subscript number three, is that during the summer, half the grass pasture is replaced by using or by feeding the distillers a corn stock combination. So recorded in the entries are number of days grazing, stock grazing, corn stock grazing, hay when fed, and then in the Dolby Holic 2 system, the pounds of baled corn stalks fed and the pounds of distillers fed. We also in those two systems recorded a meaning weight as well. The final two systems in this seven uh, system cow-calf comparison is the confinement system and then a confinement stock grazing system. So in the confinement stock grazing system, cows are confined from six to seven months throughout the year, and then they graze stocks for five to six. In both the confinement and the confinement stock system, cows calve in July. Any time that a cow-calf pair is fed together or grazed together, that is accounted for in grazing days as well as the amount of feed fed. Also, we have weaning weight for each of the systems. If you notice here, the weaning weight for the confinement stock system is greater than the confinement system. And the reason why this is is that the cows or the calves in the confinement stock system are older at the time of weaning, therefore they're heavier at the time of weaning. But again, at any time that they were fed or grazed with their dam, that was accounted for in stock grazing days and in the feed that was in pounds of feed that was fed. So in my, uh, 2013, 
These are the prices that I used. Distillers grains at a dollar, hundred seventy dollars per ton. Uh, grass at a hundred, at a dollar forty per day. Corn stock grazing fifty cents per head per day. Hay at one hundred fifteen dollars a ton. The residue either would be stocks or straw, ninety dollars per ton, and that would be grazed. And then we also charged yardage. Yardage was charged uh, in a conventional system, grazing system, a dime per head per day. In the Dolby Holic 2 system, uh, at 20 cents per head per day. And then uh, in the dry lot uh, system, uh, 45 cents per head per day. Also included a mineral charge and then a cow cost charge that would in, um, uh, so any other costs such as replacement cost and, and costs like that are included in the $250 per head per year. So in this entry, the total cost in the different systems, the winning weight, and then the base price, the base dollars, would be the break-even price. So using the entries that I used in the previous slide, the most economical system was the Goodmanson Sandhills Laboratory June Capping System. The most expensive system was the 100% confinement system. It's interesting to note that the confinement stock grazing system was very comparable to the conventional June calving Goodmans and Sandhill laboratory system. The reason why I used the Goodmans and uh, Sandhill June calving system was it was the most economical as compared to the March or the August system. And again, the March and the August system were very comparable to the Dolby Holly uh, 1 system, which would be a conventional uh, uh, grazing, pasture grazing, corn stock system in eastern Nebraska. So this would be the base price. And then what I did in this slide is that I said, okay, what would you give for, for uh, pasture? What price could you pay for pasture to make the most economical system have the same break even as the most expensive system. And when we calculated that out, you could give in the Goodmanson Sandhills uh, Laboratory June County system, you could give $99 per pair per month. And that would equate to a break even that was equal to the most expensive con uh, system, which was the confinement system. Two thousand fourteen prices were just a little bit different. Um, grass cost a hundred dollar uh, forty uh, per pair per day. Corn stocks fifty cents per pair per day. Distillers grains at one hundred eight dollars per ton. Hay at eighty dollars a ton. And then baled stocks or straw fifty dollars per ton. And that included grinding costs. Labor again we did have a yardage charge uh, for each of the different systems. Mineral, and then again we had $250 per year as cow cost. Total cost for the different systems is in this entry. Meaning weight, and again this is the base price or the uh, break-even price per calf per pound, which is the different system. Again, the Goodness and Sandhills Laboratory June Calving System was the most profitable. The total confinement system was the most expensive, but compared to 2013, 2013 break-even was $2.11 per pound for the total confinement system. 2014, uh, the break-even was $1.64. Really pretty comparable to some of the other grazing systems that we uh, compare against. Again, the most economical, and again, the confinement stock grazing system is very comparable to the Goodman's and Sandhill Gene Cabin system. So what I did in this slide here is I said, okay, this is the least expensive system. This is the most expensive system. What would I have to give for grass in the least expensive system to have a break-even of $1.64 per pound of calf wheat? So in the June calving, Goodness and Sandhills calving system, $60.60 per pair per month. In the Dolby Hall conventional system, $54.60 per pair per month. In the Dolby Hall uh, supplementation system, where again we supplemented half the grass during the summertime, 
with corn stalks and distillers grains, the grass cost would be $66 per pair per month. This is our beef website, beef.unl.edu. Uh, at the top of our home page, there's a navigator bar that says reports and proceedings. Uh, the data, the confinement data that I talked about here is summarized in a beef report that uh, was published in 2014. We also have a summary of uh, the uh, dry lot canning system in a 2015 beef report.